Hi everybody, I'm Chef Ben Biebenroth. Today we are going to make Mayatake mushroom risotto out in the field using the Encamp prep surface, the Encamp burner, and the Encamp folding food prep knife. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to cut up this onion. The nice thing about cooking outside, on-site composting. Am I right? We're going to take an onion. For two people, we only need half of it. We are going to brunoise said onion, which would be nearly impossible with a folding pocket knife. You need a nice wide blade to do that. Brunoise is like a fine dice. You can see how easily this knife is used and it handles really well for this task. Again, this is a traditional chef cutting technique. I'm just drifting this knife straight down through this onion. I've got this really nice even dice here. I love this folding prep surface because you can get a dish under it, scoop your product off, really ideal. We're gonna do the same thing with a carrot. We'll save the tops because they're edible and we're gonna use them for garnish. Look at that, right through. So we're gonna quarter this carrot I mean, can you imagine having cuts like this with a, a pocket knife for this task? It'd be very messy. All right. Now, we're gonna clean up our maitake mushrooms. Maitake is a wild mushroom, grows at the base of oak trees in this region. So maitake can have really, really large petals like this really, really tight petals like this. And this is about a medium sized one. So when you're working with a mushroom like this, I like to cut it in half first. You can see it's kind of dirty down by the base, but not really up around the top so much. So we're just gonna use this and carve around the outside. Okay. And now we've got these nice, clean mushroom petals that we're gonna saute in our pan. Now the center of this mushroom is also very edible as well, but for this risotto dish, it's easiest to just use the edges, right? Look at what a cool pattern that is. So you see the inside there? Just gonna kinda drift along there with the food prep knife and get all the outside of this mushroom cut up nice and fine. Obviously, a little bit of our knife work was pretty simple. Some of it was a little complex. So we've got some of these mayatakis, and let's make sure to get a good close up of how we're cutting these away from the base stem. So we've got this little cluster here, using our end camp knife and just cutting the core away. And then, so we have these nice little mushroom pieces here. You can see these bigger chunks that we need to cook evenly. Get them nice and chopped up small. This nice little tight cluster. You can use this knife, carve around the edge of that mushroom. Kind of taking the core out of it. And then we've got these really nice flaky leaves here. Cool. All right, we need a little bit of herbs. And we're gonna save some obviously for some garnish. Um, but we wanna get these herbs kind of beat up a little bit. So I'm just pulling them off the stem. Then we're gonna rough them up with the knife a bit. This lets that flavor come out a little bit. And then I like to use the side of the blade and kind of smash it around. Once again, nearly impossible with a pocket knife. And we're going to save our parsley leaves for mostly garnish at the end, but we're going to chop up a little bit of the stem here for sauteing in. Cool. All right, so we got ourselves a hot pan here. We're going to throw in a little dot of butter. 
And traditionally when you're making risotto, you would start with the onion, but I want to start with the mushroom so that I can get it nice and browned up. I like to use my end camp food prep knife because I can scoop and move over to my cooking surface. So while our mushrooms are sauteing, we want to get them just a little bit brown. To make a good risotto, you'll need arborio rice. You'll need hot stock or water, which you can see on the end cap burner here, we've got the water almost to a boil, and we really cannot make risotto with cold water. You've got to have hot water to do it. All right, so we've got our mushrooms browned. Now we're gonna add our onion. And our carrots. And at this time, I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of salt. That's gonna help our veggies sweat out. And some grinds of pepper. And now our herbs that we chopped up, we're gonna just throw these in now for sauteing, and then we'll garnish at the end with a little bit more herbs to keep it bright. Okay, so we've got our veggies sweating down here. I'm gonna throw a little bit extra butter into the pan, and now it's time to add our rice. So I don't really use exact measurements with this, though you will see exact measurements in your recipe. This rice about triples in volume from whatever you put in the pan dry to when it's fully cooked. Now we're gonna stir this aborio rice around a little bit and get it nice and toasty with our vegetables and all the fat that we just added to that pan. And as soon as we get it nice and coated, we're gonna deglaze the pan with some wine. You don't have to use the wine, but I highly recommend it. All right, so as you can see, we've got a really, really hot pan here. We wanna cook off all that wine into what we call au sec, which means almost dry. We wanna get all that alcohol out of there, and then we're just gonna be left with the sweetness of the wine behind. Then we'll add our stock or our water. Okay, so this is what I would consider off sec. You can no longer have wine pouring off of your vegetables and rice. All right, let's add our boiling water. Woo, that is hot stuff. I just so happen to have two bay leaves in my back pocket. All right, the lovely part about making risotto is it is pretty much a one pot meal. By the time all this water is absorbed, it should be fully cooked. If it's not, we're gonna throw a little bit of extra water on this uh, boil pot just to make sure. That way, if our rice is still a little too al dente, we can add a little bit more water and let it continue to cook. Another important thing about making risotto is, do not store it with a metal spoon. Now granted, if you're in the back country, all you have is a titanium spoon, fine. But when you're making risotto, you wanna use a wooden spoon or a rubber spatula. A metal spoon breaks the grains and it makes it too starchy. So as you can see, our risotto is really, really close to done. Uh, we want to take a little taste of it to make sure that the grains of rice are fully absorbing the water. Mmm, really close. Add just a little bit more water. Now, I'm a firm believer that risotto should always pool. It should flow, all right? So, I also tasted this and it's a little light on salt, but the way that we make risotto fully seasoned, Parmesan cheese, to season and tighten, butter to loosen. So we're gonna finish this with a good punch of butter and about, I don't know, a quarter cup of cheese. 
and just fold that together. And this is what really gives our risotto a beautiful creamy texture. And also, usually when you're out camping, you're burning up a lot of energy. So don't sweat the extra fat. You need it. We got a nice healthy amount of mushrooms in here as well. So we're going to get protein from the mushrooms. We're going to get energy from the arborio rice. And we're definitely going to get some healthy fats here from our organic butter. All right. That is looking delish. All right, so our risotto has fully absorbed all of its liquid. We are ready for dinner. So I'm gonna pile up a nice bowl of this. That's about enough for a grown adult. And we're gonna use a little bit of cheese for garnish on the one side. And we're gonna garnish with some of our cut up carrot stems, some of our carrot tops, and some fresh thyme. There you go. My taco risotto with end camp gear. All right, let's see how we did. Oh, wow. Beautiful as the day is long. Thanks for cooking with us.